I'm short, but not that short. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure now to um, ah. present the activities that I've planned as part of uh, EU JAMRAI 2 to limit the exposure to antibiotic resistant bacteria with an integrated One Health approach. So these activities are jointly conducted in uh, two work packages, work package seven on infection prevention and control, which is co-led by the Staten Serum Institute in Denmark and um, the Catalan uh, Institute of Oncology in Spain. And the work package eight will focus on surveillance and is led by the Public Health Agency of Sweden and by the French Food Safety Agency in France. So Brian and myself will be presenting on behalf of a large group and we'll do our best to give you an idea of what we're planning to do. A uh, few words on the background first. I think it has been um, pretty clear from what we heard earlier today that this One Health approach is uh, critical to address EMR. And um, if there is one area where this One Health approach particularly applies, uh, it's surveillance. If we want to understand how EMR emerges and spreads between uh, the sectors, we need high quality data in, in each of these areas, humans, animal, and the environment. And we also need to put these data together uh, to jointly analyze them and, and improve our understanding of how EMR is being uh, transmitted between those sectors and uh, take the appropriate control measures. Um, okay, we have done a lot of progress in the EU in the field of surveillance over the past years. But if you want to progress toward proper One Health surveillance of the EMR, more needs to be done. In the human sector, the ESNET um, has been in place for a while now, monitoring EMR in healthcare settings. There's still some gaps to be addressed. Uh, we have heard recently that the Council conclusions have provided indicators and targets, but we need these to be implemented at national level as well. And also there's still a lot of variability in capacity of member states for genomic surveillance of EMR. In the animal sector, the European surveillance so far has really focused on surveillance in the food chain as coordinated by EFSA. And <coughs> while this is uh, critical to assess um, the exposure of the European consumers, it's not very helpful to guide our veterinarians on how they should treat their animals. So one major gap that has been highlighted already in JAMRAI 1 is the need for MR surveillance in deceased animals that would include both food producing and companion animals. So to that end, the ESDET network has been launched um, in JAMRAI 1 to implement a European EMR surveillance network in veterinary medicine. And with JAMRAI 2, we would like to expand this network full scale. In the, in the environmental sector, the gap is huge because we can say, I think, uh, that today in Europe, we have little to no surveillance in place. There are national initiatives, but uh, we really need coordination to have a proper European surveillance of EMR in the environment. And last but not least, across sectors, uh, we need our data to be analyzed together. The JACA reports um, have been working in this direction at the European level, analyzing together data from ECDC and EFSA. But um, such an approach is not really implemented at national level at this stage. A few member countries have uh, One Health reports, but often they're not specially integrated. So you have chapter one on humans and chapter two on animals, but it's not really integrated One Health um, as such. So one gap that we have identified would be to have this One Health national surveillance in place uh, in those different member states. Yes, uh, hello uh, everyone. My, my, my name is Brian Christensen from uh, Work Packer 7, and I'm very delighted to, 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 to be here and, and share our, our thoughts about the uh, IPC. And as uh, you, you said, you, you see, yeah, yeah, the Gemma 1 shows uh, uh, a lot of gaps, uh, more, more on both organizational and, uh, and uh, um, be, 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 be a hero be, 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 be barriers when it comes to to a, a, a implement now what's going on here but where is my 
little things? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I also got, got some uh, the detailed gaps. Uh, in, the, in the health care, care s s s s s s setting, we, 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 we know we all have troubles in, uh, in uh, uh, adhere to guidelines. All you, we all know what, what should, should, should be, be, be a best about practice. And uh, uh, likewise, in, in the veterinary settings, there has not been so much for, for focus on what, what is the best I, IPC measures and, and what should be, be a mi minimum competencies and expertise for, for veterinary pro, 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 pro professionals. And in, in, the, uh, in the environment, Milton says, we are now just starting to, to get an overview of, of what is going on. So for, for, for all sectors, we, 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 uh, lack, we lack to share the knowledge. We uh, uh, do not have a, a, a access to, 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 to toolboxes. And 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 we we think we we also should be better to to use the knowledge from the behavioral science. And then do I go on with you? Is you? Go on. Yeah. So now moving to the objectives for Jamoy two. Um, first, on the Serbian side of things, uh, obviously the idea is to build on what has been done in Jamai 1 and to go one step further. So, as mentioned, in the, across the three sectors, our aim is to progress towards integrated One Health surveillance. In the human sector, we want to strengthen national surveillance systems and build capacity for molecular surveillance of AMR. In the VET sector, the plan is to implement full scale the ISVET network for AMR surveillance in diseased animals that has been initiated in Jamrai 1. And in the environmental sector, we want to initiate <coughs> AMR surveillance in the environment by launching a new network uh, called ESOMF. No, no I, I never learned this. So. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes, uh, and, and for 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 yeah, I, 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 IPC, uh, we we we, we w w w want to set for full focus on, on the bar 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 barriers for both on the on uh, organizational on uh, uh, the level of of uh, the, 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 the bar bar barriers to to which are be, be being seen to uh, implement. The, the, the core, 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 core components in in the in infection uh, prevention programs, and we want to to support the development and implementation of uh, core, 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 core elements for for our, our IPC. which which means we, we we also will we will set for for, for focus on the on the uh, minimum requirements. And we also want to monitor and to evaluate if we are getting better during, during this project. And not uh, at least we, we uh, want to, to make uh, an, an IPC toolbox and get access to this toolbox. So moving to the action that we envisage to achieve these objectives. Um, in terms of surveillance activities in the human sector, as mentioned, the plan will be to improve surveillance by supporting capacity development in member states. There are 19 countries that have expressed interest for this activity. Uh, we'll first develop a roadmap on how countries can improve their surveillance uh, in a cohesive way between European countries and also support ongoing capacity building projects that are needed to improve surveillance and especially genomic surveillance of AMR. Target groups will be professional um, at national and local level, but also international levels such as the CDC and WHO, uh, which are working on supporting both national and joint surveillance. 
in the animal sector, so we want to implement full scale the ESZ network for AMR surveillance in diseased animals. We have 19 countries involved, and we will build from Jamurai 1, where we have already defined the scope and the objective of this network. We have already conducted a pilot study that showed that more or less today in Europe, half of the countries have some surveillance of AMR in animal pathogens in place, um, and half have no um, coordinated surveillance. Among those that have surveillance, this system, they're highly heterogeneous. So we need to harmonize existing national surveillance system for those that have one in place. And for those that have nothing yet, we need to start and um, um, hopefully learn from those that already have something in place. And, and one way to do it will be to develop new state manual to facilitate those countries to start surveillance. We also plan to jointly analyze EMR data and produce ESBIT reports. And also we need to plan from the beginning for the sustainability of ESBIT beyond JAMRAI 2. Because JAMRAI 2 is only four years, so what will happen after four years once JAMRAI is done? So we need to plan for sustainability already now and make sure that ESBIT is integrating within the landscape of EMR surveillance in Europe. So our target groups will be veterinary clinical labs, also food safety and public health agencies or academia, those who have some AMR data available. But also we want to work closely with ESA to facilitate this takeover at some point of the ESVET network. And uh, we'll also work with European and international groups such as ESNET in the human sector, but also FAO, EUCAST and VETCAST. Um, and also, obviously, other initiatives such as the Animal Health and Welfare Partnership, uh, I think, to facilitate synergies and avoid duplication between both uh, projects. Okay, in the envir environmental sector, the plan uh, uh, is to initiate EMR surveillance in the environment. There are 16 countries involved. Here, um, the plan is to set up goals and in indicators to guide common environmental surveillance and to pilot these indicators in partner countries. So we'll involve national and local level professionals working with environmental surveillance as well as international level, working both at national and uh, joint surveillance. <coughs> and last but not least, we want also to facilitate the production of One Health national surveillance reports in each member state. We have 17 countries involved. The way we envisage it is first to map national surveillance system in the three sectors so we know who is doing what in each country. It's not that obvious. We have done the exercise in France. It's not obvious. Um, and evaluate then to which extent they work together so we can facilitate the generation of One Health reports, both like, you know, the PDF version, but also maybe interactive dashboards that will give you an overview of surveillance data available in a given country. And we also want to make this One Health report a priority in a national action plan uh, to sort of increase a bit the priority of uh, member state for this activity. We will involve national authorities and agencies in charge of surveillance in the three sectors, as well as uh, the European agencies like the CDC, EFSA, or the Environmental European Agency, as well as European and international expert group involved in integrated surveillance, such as GISA or the One Health High Level Expert Panel or Codex Alimentarius, and also European project and networks. Uh, such as EGP One Health, so GPI AMR, which have been mentioned earlier, but also the partnership um, on the AMR or the Animal Health and Welfare Partnership. Yes, we are going to do a lot of things. Uh, and we are too. Uh, we, well, we, <coughs> we, we all, all also want to be, be, be build up and in, 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 in improve the, 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 the capacity be, be building in the, in the member state. And, and we do it by uh, de 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 developing an EU framework for implementation and prioritizing of the EU's standards in an in a IPC programs based upon uh, the, the knowledge from uh, ECDC and from uh, WHO. And, and we uh, are going to, to I I initiate and uh, su 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 support ca ca capacity building projects. Uh, and and so some uh, of it we, we will do in collaboration with Work Package 6. 
we our our uh, target groups are mainly at the uh, uh, national and the local level level with with with, uh, with our organization working with I I IPC, not just uh, 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 hospitals, but 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 also the long term care care facilities and also the, the, the intersectoral mechanism be, be, be between those, those sectors. And of, of course, we, we, we also aim at uh, setting the uh, yeah, IPC or the in the EU. In the animal part, we will identify key components of the EU standards for IPC and and try to develop a set of minimum competencies and expertise for IPC professional within the, the animal health care. And uh, we, we will pa 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 participate in, in, an, in an EU GEMRA expert network on, uh, on uh, I IPC in health care, animal health care. And the Tatati groups are, are uh, veterinary health care for, 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 for professional and uh, agencies within food safety and public health and the EU agency EFSA. For the environmental part, our focus will, will, will be on to, to map the existing uh, One Health uh, uh, IPC measures and to 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 determine what 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 is uh, the best practices with respect to to avoid transmission of AMR from from in 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 environment, and uh, and the target groups are are at the national level and the local level with. We or or organization we 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 work with in in environmental monitoring, and or 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 also at the EU level with 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 the relevant bodies in in order to to support both national and joint monitoring. And just a little, little word of 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 of, of, of uh, uh, use of the p p p p p p p p p p behavioral science we, we will in, in invite our 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 partners to 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 be a part of a of a workshop and and to during the four years we we, we will uh, help uh, to to uh, workshop and and stimulate the partners to to go, go on with the ipc projects and evaluate them during during those for four years yes so in terms of impact, we anticipate this impact to be at different levels, European, national, local, and individual. At European level, we are hoping to have a um, concrete implementation of the EU One Health Action Plan with uh, implementation of IPC and surveillance in the three sectors. Um, we hope this will contribute to make EU a best practice region on IPC and surveillance and also increase capacity for surveillance in IPC across EU countries. At national level, um, we will hopefully enforce integration of IPC and surveillance into national action plans and improve capacity to guide and strengthen national surveillance, one example being this One Health Surveillance Report in each member state. So ultimately, the goal is to improve capacity to protect citizens from exposure to resistant bacteria with IPC contributing to reduce the total burden of infection, including to resistant ones, and contributing to save uh, healthcare resources and patient suffering.
and at local level we 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 expect the partners and the countries to to make a better use of the surveillance data to guide and and adapt the local treatment or also we 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 want that targeted the treatment guidelines leads to less use of Prospective as a biotic and bio use of IPC measures limits the spread of antibiotic systems, and we we hope to to implement IPC tools in in the tutor toolbox, and we 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 have during our our project uh, uh, made uh, some self-assessment tools with, with which, uh, which uh, organization can can use. And overall, we, we, we hope to document there will be a better com 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 uh, com compliance to, to IPC best for practice. And at the individual level, our, our go 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 goal is to limit the exposure of AMR to 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 the patient to 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 citizens and thereby reducing the burden of of disease caused by AMR. So our our take home message is that that we what we now are 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 doing is based upon the the learning from Tenmai 1, we, we, we now make a concrete I, I, I implementation of, 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 of the, no, the, the knowledge we, we, we have, and we, we uh, work to, uh, to, to, towards uh, and uh, one health so, 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 so surveillance of AMR in Europe, and you get this. We're also hoping to strengthen the use of surveillance data and implementing IPC and to enforce the integration of IPC in the AMR context, so into our national action plans. And uh, last but not least, we hope also to provide better access to knowledge and knowledge sharing regarding um, IPC. I think that's it. Thanks. Thank you very much to both of you. Yep, please take a seat. Thank you, Klaus. Thank you. We have another here. Okay. Yep. Nice one each. Okay, so do we have. Yes, Christine. Do you have a mic? Could we get a mic to Christine? Thank you. And of course, a reminder to our participants online don't hesitate, send in your questions. We'd be happy to take them. I think we actually have a couple, yeah. Thank you very much. Very, very interesting. Very exciting. I was just curious because uh, the environmental aspects. Are you um, also thinking about focusing on uh, antifungals, um, given that the ECDC is coming out with an important report later this year on azoles, and that could be an important part of both surveillance and IPC in the environment. Uh, we, we have not spoken uh, uh, about it. Uh, in in, uh, in in the details, but you know, I know one of my colleagues from Sim Free is a part of the hiker, uh, and may maybe you, you you can give a comment on the, on that because you are the detailed expert. Yes, a hiker downstairs. Could we possibly? Yep. Yeah, thank you. Give a mic. Microphone at the back. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. My name is Heike Schmidt, and I have the pleasure of co-leading. Uh, 7.3 on environmental activities. And one activity is indeed that we will investigate in how far we can collect usage data for biocides, including fungus, fungicides, which is difficult as these fall under very different uh, legal frameworks. So this is one activity that hopefully will generate possibilities to gather usage data in more detail than we have now. And furthermore, we will also consider whether we probably could include uh, agents or resistances other than antibiotic resistance in the surveillance activities, and that depends on the interests of all uh, collaborating uh, countries. Thank you very much. I believe we have a question, uh, yeah, from Sinead. We 
We have a question from Amalia Narajo uh, Lucena in Ireland. Can you give an example of integrated surveillance in the three sectors? Please. <laughs> ah, good one. There are not that many. This one that comes to my mind is the um, tricycle protocol from WHO. It's probably most, one of the most advanced that's focusing on ESBL E. coli in human, animals, and the environment. So that would be one example that we could use uh, for inspiration. Um, but at this stage, there are very few countries that have, been, that have managed to address the three sectors uh, in an integrated manner. We're getting better in our integrated human and animals, but the environmental side is still a, a bit behind. And that's also why this AMR -ONF will hopefully help to address this gap. Um, so we'll definitely get inspired from the ESBL recycle and then look at uh, what national um, um, countries or individual member states are doing to get inspired and learn from the others to improve um, towards truly one health with the three sectors involved. Thanks. Thank you, Lucy. Hi. Uh, <coughs> thank you. Very, very interesting uh, session. You were talking about the... Um, kind of assessment of uh, existing surveillance systems and the way they are more or less one health. What, what framework would you use to, yeah, to make that assessment in, in an objective matter? I can imagine if you interview the, the responsibles, you will not get an, uh, an, uh, an harmonized uh, reply. So it would be useful. Thank you. Thanks for your question. Um, there are many tools available, and um, I'm part of a network funded under the GPI EMR, which is called Coeval EMR. Maybe you have heard of it, uh, where they have been assessing tools to assess integrated surveillance of EMR. So uh, they give a bit the pros and cons of each tool, depending a bit on what time you have, what, which resources, and what's your re-evaluation objectives. So it's something we can definitely discuss within the group of uh, involved countries, depending on how much resources people have, uh, we could use one or the other. One we think could be used, for example, is One Health EPICAP, which is a tool that has been developed as part of the EGP One Health uh, matrix, which is relatively easy and straightforward, uh, so you don't need uh, months and months of interviews, something you can maybe not do, but it really depends. In France, we have been using several, like Ecosur or others. So I have some experience with some of these tools, so we could, you know, um, adjust a bit the tools to the needs um, uh, and the interest of the individual member states. We don't have to use all the same, depending on our interest and also resources. Thank you, Lucy. Any further questions from the audience? As again, if I don't see you, please just holler. <laughs> um, right, so I have one here. Um, why is it important to have a One Health approach to surveillance and prevention? A very broad question, but why is it? Well, uh, we, 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 we have many success examples where AMR is a, is a problem as humans and, and being caused by animal production. In, 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 in the Denmark, where I come from, we, we, we have a problem with what we have called the livestock associated MRC. It's not because it gives so, so much uh, c c c c c sickness uh, 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 among uh, people, but it's more that the, the society uh, define a group of, of a person doing something which we all benefit from, doing, doing, them, uh, do, uh, do, doing them as, as uh, people who are doing something which are harm, harmful for us. So, so how, do we, how do we tackle that? How, how, how do we give, give the, 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 the society some, some uh, uh, confidence in uh, that the society is doing something for us all? At the same time, we, 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 we are not uh, play, 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 blaming the, the household uh, uh, people. And it demands uh, guidance, it, it, it demands knowledge, and, uh, and uh, 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 willingness to to, to in, in inform people, to, to inform uh, the media all, 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 all the time. And we will actually be, of course, talking about raising awareness, and we, we talk about you know informing the media, yeah. raising awareness. That's, yeah. that's going to be also part of one yes. of our next uh, conversations. 
Um, so again, as I said, do let me know if you have a question for our panel, for Lucy and uh, Brian. Uh, what are the key barriers, question to both of you, the key barriers and the key facilitators to improve the implementation of IPC and antimicrobial stewardship? Would you like to take this one? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is many, many, many barriers. Maybe so some of them is, is that, that uh, leadership has not uh, enough f f f focus o o o on it. Uh, because uh, what is the yeah, business case it for, 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 uh, for a ho 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 hospital? It doesn't matter if it is 6% or 7% of the patients who, who are, are getting hospital required in, 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 in fiction. But for the one per percent patients, it really does matter because they are paying a your price. And, 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 and we, 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 we have to put on the carpet or the table yet for a, a minimum sum of money you can do a, 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 a lot of things. And, and that's why we, we, we here in, in, in our pro 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 project, we f f f focus on by, 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 by now, where uh, many healthcare system has a real flow in your healthcare uh, uh, w w workers. How do we secure that they got the right uh, competencies so, 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 so we can can uh, limit uh, the spread of of of, uh, of a a a AMR. Anything to add, Lucy? Yeah, maybe I can add a bit on the animal sector, mm -hmm. which is the sector I'm, I'm in and I know better. But um, I guess for the stewardship in the animal sector, we can ask maybe our stewardship colleagues. But the way I see it is that first we need the good good data to provide, and uh, we have seen that AMR data in diseased animals is not always accessible in Europe still. Um, and once these data are available, um, how do you make them available to the practitioner? Because in the animal side, most vets, they are just um, generalist vets, so they treat all sorts of infection. We don't really have infection specialists that's going to translate your resistant data into guidelines. So, um, so you need really to facilitate this, so make your data available, maybe not in the format of a 300-page report, but something that the practitioner can use in uh, its daily work, I would say. Okay, and who would do that? <laughs> Good question. Don't you have enough on your plate? <laughs> <laughs> we'll try with those interactive dashboards. I think it's mm. one way to make this a bit more accessible than having our long annual reports as we do it uh, always. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, anyone out there? We do have two roving mics, so just do let us know. Ah, then you know. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, no, thanks, thanks, and uh, apologies for taking the floor again. I find this extremely important and interesting. The focus on IPC, of course, is, is very, very important. <clears throat> but I'm also very happy to see that behavior, uh, behavioral insight takes such a very central position here because no matter what we do, uh, we, we are dealing with, with human behavior and, and mainstreaming behavioral insight is, of course, extremely important. Um, we have a long history of training people and then we send them off to a context that they don't feel they control or we don't know what they're getting back to and wh how much they can implement or they feel they can implement of the knowledge that they learn. So I think, it's, I think this is a really important uh, aspect. And I was also happy to see that uh, you're using the COMB methods, uh, which is also what we um, included in our, in our TAP manual. Uh, so for, for inspiration and certainly also for collaboration. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Anything you would like to, um, to add to what Danilo said? Yeah, it is it is more co 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 complex yeah, uh, and just using company m m m m m models. We, we all know during the COVID-19, you can see that countries who, who have a higher degree of, of uh, uh, trust in their national uh, uh, bodies perform b b b better than the countries who do not have that. And, and, and to, to be quite honest, that can summarize to not solve it during four years, to, to, just to be honest. Uh, uh, but, uh, but 
but maybe we can set for focus for the par par partners coming from, from the many countries on what should you be a, 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 a aware of in your country, in your le 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 legislation, what does really ma ma matters and what should you, you focus on to make some changes? It joins what, what you were saying earlier, Christine, about, I mean, each, you know, working very specifically and concretely uh, in, in, in each country. Um, how can associated countries and partners with deficient national action plans benefit from the peer-to-peer -peer program? Well, uh, well, well uh, the, the, the first thing is that you do, you have to do some plan. You, you, you will make it this uh, plan, but, but, uh, but uh, it's good, good to share uh, in a form of mission of what, what kind of target do, 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 do you want? Uh, and, and maybe if, if I could say what, what, what I mean, I think focus on few things and, and, and do not think you, you can solve all in, in, a, in a short time. Choose your battles. Yes, choose your battles. Yeah. Yeah. Lucy. Yeah, I think um, we have a similar approach in the surveillance um, activities where, you know, um, European countries or associated partners are quite at a different stage in terms of uh, civilian de developments. Um, and it's something we'll try to facilitate, especially in 8.1 and 8.4, so on the um, human uh, side and also the One Health surveillance, where we want a bit uh, partner countries to evaluate where they are and where they set their priorities um, for the four years to come, what do they want to achieve in terms of surveillance. So they can also prioritize what they want to develop because we can't do everything at the same time. Mm. And we deal with some countries that have very long-term experience with surveillance while others are just starting. And that's the reality of what we have uh, in Europe now. Um, and maybe also it's something we could do in collaboration with World Package 5, I think, which is uh, about you know helping each country to develop a bit their priorities, not only for surveillance, but also for the other activities that will be um, developed as part of this Jumbo 2 and you're gonna have a coffee break so you can talk about it with them mm -hmm. very shortly. Mm -hmm. So work package five people out there. Make sure you come see Lucy. Fraser, you have a question and maybe, do we have any further? Okay, Fraser, please. Yes, I have a, a brief question. Fraser from the European Public Health Alliance again. Um, I don't really know where this would fit. If there's anywhere that it does fit, it possibly this session if I look at the title, but I haven't heard the word farmers referenced very much today. I've heard a lot about veterinarians, but if we're talking in the same way that we would talk about human health and we talk about educating pa patients and we're talking about educating expectations for what you would receive when you present uh, to a, a practitioner, then the same sort of analogous relationship must relate to animal health as well in terms of husbandry practices. What are we doing to talk to farmers to make the demands for veterinary services lower so that prescription of my, uh, 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 antimicrobials are diminished in the animal sector. Um, I haven't heard it anywhere else. If I look at the title, it would fit here. So what is, what is the answer? What are we doing to talk to farmers? Which is a particularly hot topic at the moment. Mm, maybe we haven't talked about them for that reason, Fraser. <laughs> um, Lucy? Yeah, I can comment on this. For the civilian yeah, side, that's true that our um, collaborators are mainly the labs and the vets are asking the labs to do the diagnostics. But I think the farmers will be targeted by all their activities. Well, one is, I think, um, infection prevention control. Maybe the colleagues, I think, from Spain were uh, leading this can talk a bit more about um, like all these initiatives that they are planning to, to do about um, biosecurity, improvement of biosecurity, for example, in farms is where a big topic also that will be um, that will be targeted as part of this action. And the second one is on stewardship, where there will be some activities dedicated to farmers as well. So I think they won't, they're not forgotten. They're not directly involved in surveillance, but and in stewardship and um, IPC, I think they are. I thought I saw a hand at the back, no? Um, a question I have here, what is the added value? It might be our last question. Uh, the added value of EU Jam I2 compared to existing European initiatives in the field of AMR surveillance. Who would like to take this one? Well, for for for, for yeah, I, I, I P P P P C part is that yeah, we we sit more for, for focus on 
how to I I I implement and and we will also hope that in four years time uh, IPC would be an integrated part of a national a a action plans so 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 you do not just have a a plan for how to use a, a, a antibiotics, but you also have a, have a plan for how to uh, limit the spread of, uh, of a, a AMR. That would be for you the, yeah. the main. Yeah. And, and you see anything to add? Yeah, I guess for me, the, for the surveillance piece, that would be my, mainly the One Health approach <coughs> that's still missing. Um, so both at European level, where you know we will reinforce surveillance in veterinary medicine, we'll develop surveillance in uh, environment, which is missing today. So I think we're going to address some of these gaps to achieve One Health surveillance in Europe. But also at national level, we'll push countries uh, to move towards One Health surveillance with this One Health report and so on. So that would be, I think, my, uh, my uh, take home message on this. Thank you so much. Anything either of you would like to add? Did I, did I, I think we're good. Anything either of you would like to add before we take the break, the coffee break? Well, I guess if you want to know more about what we're planning to do uh, on this One Health surveillance thing, just come and uh, come to us. I'm happy to, to give you more details. Thanks. A huge thank you to both of you. Thank you so much.